we won't meet him next week. On the third. Don't meet him. Unless you want to call one, but there's no reason to. No, so just, to just check it. So the next one will be the 30th. Yeah, the next one will be the 30th, because then outside agencies, are we hearing from them yet? Or? I got about half the application, but uh, if you're going to talk to the yeah. board, had there, so you agreed to not make a come in unless they were here or had some crazy yeah. requests. So yeah. I haven't opened the uh, seven or eight. I've got to really look at the money side of it. You get more in the uh, yeah. bill for the Okay. Okay, it's 3 o'clock. I'm going to call the meeting to order. Roll call, Martha? Here. Sue? Here. And Smith is present. And we have a quick non-public RSA. Not make a motion to go into non-public RSA 91A32A. Do I have a second? Second. Roll call, Martha? Yes. Sue? Yes. And Smith is yes. We're all non-public to session one. 3 o'clock. 318. Okay, I make a motion to re-enter the public meeting. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Make a motion to seal the non-public minutes from session one. Do I have a second? Second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. On to budget sheets. We're going to go tax collector first. Sure. Well, I guess it's time for a tax collector. So, starting with salaries, that includes the... Um, Union and group, well, the union raises as is. Um, the overtime I've increased a um, couple of reasons. One, because of the elections that are coming up, depending on who's um, working. And um, if we're taking vacations, and um, we may have some extended time there that people have to stay later mm -hmm. than normal to close out or to come in early to set up and stuff like that. Um, the FICA Medicare all the way down. I did add um, money in for the insurance for dental if that passes. Um, the restoration I left as the same. Recording fees, I brought it down a couple of hundred. Um, I left seminars and schooling at the same. Uh, Rachel should be able to go to the start the certification, which is a four-year program, and it's for a whole week in August, so she'll start that. Mileage, because of the amount of miles, we'll all be traveling, not just for um, town, well, town clerk and tax collector, but for the all the election trainings also. Our supplies, everything's gone up, so I've put it up some, and I kept equipment and maintenance at the same. Any questions? No, you're down 1%. So you're bad. Your budget's down. <laughs> that's pretty good. I, I know. Congratulations. I'm, I'm, I'm like, wait, that's not right, but it's right. So. You go on Wednesday to budget as usual, budget committee? Yeah, Wednesday evening, yeah. 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 And then. So you cut, reduce your part-time wages a little also? Yes. Because it... What, once I get my other person full yeah. time, Trish will definitely be gone okay. next year. Yeah. She'll definitely. No, I mean, it's down 1%. That's pretty straightforward. Nothing unusual. I have no questions. Right. Me either. No? Now the next one, don't look at the percentage. <laughs> well, I know, but I, it's, it's relevant, but I know what you're saying. So we're on elections? We're on elections. Okay. So, uh, obviously, I, I put that up. Um, there'll be more ballot training, mm -hmm. um, so I've increased that to the 10,000 and the moderator, she, she will also um, be here for all four elections and she does go to trainings also, mm -hmm. um, so I put hers up. Um, ballots, um, again we don't pay um, for the ballots themselves, the state does for all the presidential primary, the state primary, and the general election. We pay for the coding of the machine, plus our own ballots. We pay for the ballots and the coding. Advertisement, there'll be more advertisement, obviously, supplies, and then the maintenance stays the same. Okay. Pretty straightforward. we got a lot of elections, and I think it's, it's normal business. 
and so then hold that that's included in here or? no that nope. that that that's we're going to purchase um out of this year's equipment line out of this year oh, equipment well, line that's right. I'm the right. This is um, this is what you talked about last time with reg under registrations, correct? Um, not the reg this, this is um, the postage machine, our folding machine, um, software and stuff. Um, this is their their bid, and it's monthly six hundred. And um, this is under registrations. This. Uh, this is actually, I believe, in the selectmen's budget, the the postage machine and stuff. But they, uh, because I asked for a quote on my machine, um, because it's up and for renewal, they um, put us all together. And that's how it's billed now. And it's around $500 a month. And that and now it's going to be up to six hundred and fourteen dollars. So a month. we pay five hundred now for the machine we have. This will be for both. Both for all the machines we have right. here. I don't recall coding invoices for that. Do, do those get split expense wise between multiple offices? I I you don't I know have, if I any... have, it's not in my budget. It hasn't been in my budget. Okay, so it was we have easier. contract equipment and selection. Yes. Yes, yes, that's probably where it so is. So this is going to be going to the budget. Sounds like yeah. Yes. We're going to have to go back to that then. Yeah. We haven't done it. I mean, right, right. when we hit, when is that? November. <sighs> yeah, the week of six, the sixth. The first week of November. So I I didn't realize Rob wasn't in contact with you. Yeah, no, I haven't had any. So All right, so we're going to hit this more detail when we get back to the selectmen's budget then. Unless you want to tell us anything more about it. It's uh, just uh, my folding machine needs to be, um, it, and this is part part of it. We definitely want to decide whether we do or not. Um, it is um, in need of repair, and we're to do it without a contract. It's three hundred fifty dollars for them just to come up. Oh. So it's kind of like... Or we can get into a new contract for the new ones. Clearly we need to go <coughs> yeah. for a tiny bit more money. So. We've, come, we've been at 5000 on that line for years. It sounds like we should go to 7500 and we'll be all set. That's right. not a big increase on a, two, a million dollar budget. What do we need? You just need a board vote to enter into the new contract with the new machines? If, if that's what you guys would like, yes. If you want to go with what, if you, I don't need it tonight. If you want to do talk about it and go yeah. over it with your budget, I just didn't want you to end up spending the three hundred and something. Oh, in the I'm meantime. not. I'm not going to spend. <laughs> it. Okay. I, I'm going to wait. I, like I told Rob, I don't need the machine again until um, November autos. So you have. Well, time I have time. it available in the selectman's office for this year. We, we, I think because the machines are so old. We I don't know. I, it hasn't been paying at five hundred a month out of that line. How much we got now? Now, sixteen hundred was spent through August on the five thousand dollars budget. Mm -hmm. So I don't know if those are going somewhere else too. But uh, all right, okay, we so put, yeah, we're not. I'm not opposed to this. Let's just put it aside for now, and you can dig in more into the money, and we can decide. We can buy it this year. Is what you're saying? You need it this year. You, you, we can buy them now. We yeah. don't have to wait until right. December. We right. can buy buy them now. Yeah. Okay. So. I think we should. I think so, because Kelly's machine is broken, so we yeah. Well, yeah, I get it. So you want to you want a motion for this? Sure, I'll take a motion. Let me just see what I'm making the motion for here, and primarily to who it's for. And like I said, if you want to wait till next week, I don't have any real mailings until November. So we don't have, have a meeting for at least yeah, a week, if not two or okay. three. John's going to be out for a little while, and. Um, it's kind of, I don't want to say it's now or never, but it's oh, yeah. now or a little I, I'm while fine from with now. It. I'm fine with it. Do I'll it make now. a motion to approve a 60-month lease in the amount of $614.33 for a Quadient, Quadient DS64i postage machine, postage meter, folding machine, folding machine. What else is it? And the, the software. And bake cakes. <laughs> Second. And the software. Uh, the NA, is it NASPO contract? It, it's with a Formax, the oh. quadrants that come from okay. that Formax. Okay, you made that motion. You have a second, Martha? Yes. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay, good. And then I know it's not me, but um, the registration part of the budget, mm -hmm. 
I, I did the best I could. I don't know why um, the previous year it was so much money. I don't know why they, for 2023, they put so much money in their budget. But I would say they haven't been putting in requests for their money recently. Or yeah, clearly. That's crazy. So I'm not sure where that is. So that's why I came up with the amounts I came up with. So I don't know. I don't know if they did their budget last year. I don't remember. I know I didn't do it last year. I think I. they had a change in guard, uh, yep. and I think I just flat budgeted them oh, okay. and kind of, it was more of a this is what it was. Okay, because I, I, I know I yeah. didn't do it. No, I do, I do recall they were, yeah, Desi left, and yeah. I just said you're flat budgeted, and that's fine. Okay. So that was my rough estimate. Okay. All right. Yep. Okay. Thank you, Kelly. Okay, I make a motion to approve the town clerk tax collector budget in the amount of $384,725. It's down $3,550, or minus down 1%. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. I have the election department worksheet in the amount of $21,600. It's an increase of $14,850 due to all the elections. Make a motion to approve this. Second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 And registrations, Matt? Kelly just presented that. I, I assume that that's supervisor of a checklist, right? It is, and I, I would recommend going with her recommendations she's very all right registration of supervisor to checklist seventy one hundred dollars an increase of one thousand five hundred eighty five dollars and make a motion to approve that second all those in favor aye, aye. next is board of selectmen not the selectmen's office board of selectmen so, as agreed for most elected officials, uh, I just included a 5%, uh, very modest increase, which hasn't been touched in many, many years. The rest is flat. It's pretty straightforward. Any questions on it? Well, there's big money, I'll probably stay on. Right. <laughs> <laughs> it's an increase of $920, total of $20,840. Make a motion to approve this. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Legal. With all the zoning and health enforcement that we're actually doing, we've blown out the legal budget this year, but you're going to start seeing properties get cleaned up that never have been in the history of the town. The legal fees are up per hour like everything else anyway, but we're getting a good value out of it, and uh, we think 75 is yeah. what we're going to need right. this year to keep doing what we're doing. It's been... Actually, for a while, I think it was... It was it was 50 when I started in yeah. my role. We were, really weren't sending stuff to town attorney because it wasn't, you know, zoning wasn't enforcing zoning. We weren't doing what we needed to do. We done what we needed to do. So we're kind of making up for all the years of the legal line never being used. It was easy to use the attorneys at Municipal yeah. right, for a little everyday stuff. But yep. when you're getting into projects like this... Because you need somebody. Yeah, they won't go to court with you. They give you general exactly. advice, which is That's great, right. but we're actually going to court now. Yeah. So that amount is seventy-five thousand from forty. It's an increase of thirty-five thousand for legal. I make a motion to approve that. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Patriotic purposes. This is the flags and fireworks, right? Correct. Uh, Fourteen thousand which is the flags and fireworks. It's That's it, forward. yeah, straightforward. Fireworks are 10,000 plus, yeah. This budget. That used to come in as a Warren article through, actually, no, we just started doing it, because Old we Home Week used to... Paint, old Home used to, we always paid for it, Right, so. and they got away from it, so now the town pays for it. That's let, when did we start that, last year or the year before? Last year was the first year, right? Several years ago, we split it. Right. It's been di digression into... Last year was the first year the town paid for it in full. So I'll make a motion to approve patriotic purposes for 14000 Second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Treasurer? I just added a 5%. Right. Very minor stipend increase. Total amount is $8,395. It's an increase of $165. Make a motion to approve the treasurer budget. 
Second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Welfare Department, it's 39450 No change from the previous year. Uh, make a motion to approve the Welfare Department for 39450 For a second? Second. All those in favor? Aye. Do you have any more discussion on it, Martha? Or? No. No? Not in public anyway. Okay. Alrighty. So we have a budget process policy going forward. We're just going to put clean steps to the budget process to ensure transparency and consistency and how budget sheets are handled and who gets them when and how and so forth. I'm not going to read all seven points, um, but it's it's necessary. Any questions on it? I know you, I know you guys have a copy of this. We've already reviewed it. Right. Yes. Yeah. No, I'm fine with that. Okay. So I make a motion to approve the budget process policy going forward. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. I'll just sign. Matt, I'm going to sign this one and then. Yes, please. We have, this is the community choice plan. This is a pretty standard, this is a draft. This is basically, we got to preliminarily approve this, then we're going to have the two public hearings probably in November, which is obviously the more inform information dissemination with the public. So I reviewed through this, nothing is, it's pretty standard. It's kind of everything we talked about when we did this presentation. So uh, this is, again, a preliminary draft to make a motion to approve this draft. Second. Of the, of the Community Choice Aggregation Program. Sue seconded. All those in favor? Aye. Uh, uh, now, you want us to initial this or something? Or? Yeah, that would be great if you don't mind, please. I'll get a copy of that. Absolutely. You didn't get one yet, but you will now. Just initial. I don't think I've got I know I No, I just got it today, and oh, it was okay. a lot of pages, and... So the chief gave me, and I know he, he talked to you guys quickly about it, but this is a common day. It's, an auto, it's a renewal every year. It's an off high, Office of Highway Safety Grant Agreement from the Department of Safety. It's for $13,000. This lets, allows them to do... Uh, cell phone enforcement and not, not DUI checkpoints, but hand, hands-free, hands-free cell phone enforcement. And there was something else he told me. I'm trying to find it. Maybe, maybe that was it. Maybe that was it, just cell phone enforcement. It's not, it's not DUI checkpoints? No, he didn't say DUI checkpoints. I'm just going to just, before I make the motion, just let me look at this one. Most of this is just federal and state standard stuff, you know, all this Drug Free Workplace Act, etc. Speed enforcement. There it is. In the community aggregation. The consultant does all that. Okay, good. Yeah, that's good stuff. Speed enforcement. It does have DUI enforcement. 
distracted driving, that's the cell phones. And that's it. 13,000. Make a motion to approve this. Seven. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. That's good on the opt-out motors. Yeah. That's good. Motion to recess, or you? Sure. Yeah, yeah. I make a motion to recess until 4:15. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. 3:38. Okay. Didn't hey. they? Yeah. Hey, we went down this weekend. I said, "Oh, it was nice." Last time I was down, it was pretty bad. Uh, you guys have been through it this year. <laughs> yeah. I tell you, the dedication that they they've spent on it. I mean, it, yeah. it wasn't an easy fix. I didn't bring my black liner. Things get too heavy. I got my big one. I got too much stuff in there. My blue one. I know. Take the submachine gun out of it, and then it's yeah, true. That's funny. I'm saying that too loud. Yeah. Okay. Four fifteen. I'm going to reconvene the meeting. Uh, please stand with me for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Okay, I'm going to open the meeting up to the first public input. I got something. Go ahead. Um, yeah. So I don't know if you checked in there. I haven't talked to Kelly to find out what I still haven't got an answer. I'm still waiting. You got no answer on that. So yeah. I'll probably find out afterwards, after this meeting, what, yeah. what she came up with. Yeah. But I did check into your poll pad yeah. that you want to use. Yeah. And uh, I found out that LHS Services is actually Dominion. And I'm really not nuts about using Dominion uh, for anything more than what, I, I don't like what we do now, but I mean, I don't want... And it, not saying that it's going to be hooked to the internet or anything, but possibilities there. And Dominion, as far as I'm concerned, is really uh, uh, bad. Everybody's got a bad taste in their mouth about the actual company. So I'm a little concerned about it. Um, so I, and that's another thing. I'll probably find out what exactly it is that she's going to do with that. Yep. Because all of that stuff, if it's hooked into the internet, can be hacked. I agree. If it's connected to the internet. If you can't state law to be connected to the internet. Yeah, but... I just <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. We well, don't know. Well, you can't verify anything they do. So yeah. Yeah, I I want to bring that up yep. so we can check into it because I mean why Let me know if you find something out or let us all know I should check. Well I mean all I did was find out that LHS is actually Dominion. Mm -hmm. The parent company, yeah. Yeah, they, the machine is one of their product lines. Yeah. That's and that's all. Yep. Yeah. And the other thing I have to wait till after the meeting. Mm -hmm. Thanks, Dallas. Yeah. Okay, no further public input. We're going to move on to red folder documents. Martha, when you're ready. Town of Osby check voucher totals. We 
ending 10-17-23. Total payroll $44,204.57. Accounts payable general fund is $27,000. $692.11. The prior percents precincts received $146,029.86. School payment this week was $659,976. Sewer Department $850. Water Department $1195.16. Total fund payments was $888.50. Make a motion to approve these. Second. All in favor? Aye. Uh, did you mean $1,000? You said $882. What'd you say? The last number. What was the last number? $888,308.50. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> I was just checking. <laughs> Okay, uh, the selectmen's meeting minutes for October 2nd. I make a motion to approve these. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 And I have the selectmen's work session for Tuesday, October 10th. I make a motion to approve these minutes. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 I have a warrant, sewer warrant, in the amount of $11,022. I make a motion we approve this sewer warrant. I'll second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. I have a water and sewer warrant in the amount of $134.46. I make a motion that we approve this warrant. I'll second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. I have another letter from Phil Bodwell, DRA appraiser, supervisor. I read a bunch of these last week regarding charitable exemptions. I have another one. I'm going to go through it. Huggins Hospital map 132, lot 40. Map 132, lot 40, sorry. Timely filed the A9 on April 10th, and A12 was filed on April 10th also. DRA inspected the property on July 26th. They confirmed that it's owned, used, and occupied for charitable purposes according to the RSA, with the exception of the apartment on the second floor. DRA requested additional information on 824, received on 925. Uh, after reviewing the additional information, in consultation with DRA legal counsel, they're satisfied that the applicant meets the definition of charitable according to statute and relevant case law. They are in good standing with the SOS. DRA recommends that they grant the exemption for 2023 with the exception of the second floor apartment, which is <coughs> map 132, lot 40, sub 1. Make a motion to approve the exemption as read, but not on the Exemption as read, except for the apartment on the second floor. Do I have a second? Second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. We have to sign this. Okay. I have a notice of decision from the Zoning Board of Adjustment for case number 23-09V, tax map 37, lot 10. They were granted a variance. I'm not going to get into all the details, but they were granted a variance. Notice of decision from the Zoning Board of Adjustment for case number 23-02SE, tax map 103, lot 12. They were granted a special exception to reconstruct an existing non-conforming tennis court. I have a letter here. This is addressed to the Board of Selectmen. It was just handed to me before the meeting. I'll read it. It says, Dear members of the board, I hope this letter finds you well. I am writing on behalf of several of the residents on Fogs Ridge Road in the Granite section of Ossipi. We would like to express our gratitude for the hard work and dedication of the town road crew, especially during the recent torrential rainstorms. Our primary concern revolves around the safety of Fogs Ridge Road. Due to its narrow, hilly, and curvy nature, we believe it is essential to take measures to ensure the safety of both residents and visitors to the area. 
Additionally, the presence of pedestrians, children, dogs, and horses on the road increases the need for caution and adherence to lower speeds. We kindly request the installation of four 25 mile per hour speed limit signs on Fogs Ridge Road, strategically placed at each end of the road and two more at the junction of John Hodgson's Road. It is worth noting that John Hodgson Road is already posted at 25 miles per hour, and we believe consistent speed limits are crucial to avoid confusion and encourage, re and, and encourage responsible driving. Furthermore, we would like to bring to your attention the need for a stop sign at the end of Fogs Ridge Road where it meets Pine River Road. The decision by the Ossipi Town Board of Selectmen to install a no-through truck sign at the intersection has been helpful, but it appears to have gone missing. Additionally, we have observed that a 30 mile per hour speed limit sign at the four corners of Granite Road, where Granite Road turns toward Pickpocket Road in Wakefield, has been removed. The disregard for speed limit signs and no passing lanes and no passing lane lines on Granite Road poses a significantly safe, significant safety risk. We appreciate the efforts made to place a lighted 30 mile per hour sign on a telephone pole in recent weeks, but further measures may be necessary to enforce the speed limits effectively. In conclusion, we believe that implementing these suggested measures will greatly improve the safety of Fogs Ridge Road as well as Granite Road and the surrounding areas. By reducing speed limits and installing appropriate signs and signals, we can promote responsible driving behavior and safeguard the well-being of all residents and visitors. Thank you for your attention to this matter. We look forward to your favorable response and actions taken to address these concerns. Sincerely, Ted Bateman, 195 Fogs Ridge Road. And he says, P.S. First security fasteners made in Gilbert, Arizona should help in preventing stolen signs. So he's obviously asking for the speed limit to be lowered on Fogs Ridge Road. It's already tw 25 on John Hodgson Road, which is a kind of continuation there. I'm not opposed to it as a board member, whether if it goes from 30 to 25. Does the board have any feeling on that? No, I don't know. Just make sure the police department's all right with it, too. Right, but we'd have to make a motion now to lower the speed limit to 25, because we can do that. We can lower it to 25. We can't go any lower than that as a board. Excuse me, Mr. Chairman. Can I say, say something? Just a point. Just hold on a minute. Okay. So is there any opposition before I make a motion? So I'll make a motion to lower the speed limit to 25 mile per hour on Fogs Ridge Road. And I'm going to leave sign placement up to the Public Works Director as needed. Do I have a second? Second. Any more discussion on it? No? All those in favor? Aye. 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 So, Matt, I guess get a copy of this letter to TJ. Just tell him about the motion to 25. Let to talk to PD about maybe some extra enforcement on that road. Yep, emailing right now. Yep. Um, and I guess this, this other signs that are missing have Public Works address it to see what's needed there. So, uh, I think that's it for the letter. Okay, I'm going to go skip right over since you had a question to write the public. My question was about that before yep. you made that motion. Sure. Um, I don't know why you would lower the speed limit five miles an hour. It's not going to make a bit of difference. We, I've been living on this street for 25 years. The speed limit is 30 miles an hour. Doesn't I, make a difference. No, not Does a big deal. It, it makes it absolutely no difference. They do five, fifty. Um, and, and I'm not exactly sure what. I mean, I can understand you can post the signs all you want. It's not going to make a difference. So. Um, and, and I appreciate your input, Dallas, but I, I don't think. I don't think 20, I mean, a car doesn't, it coasts at 25 miles an hour. You, that's going to be, unless you want to give everybody speeding tickets all the time, which for 25 miles an hour, even a normal person traveling down that road, is, that's too slow. So 30, I, is, 30 is fine. I don't think 30 is My advice is to follow the speed limit as posted, which will be 25 miles per hour. I, I get it. You already made that call. I'm just saying I don't think that's necessary. I think okay. 30 is fine. Well, thank you for your input. Any other public input? No? Any other old business? New business? Matt? When you want to have a public hearing for the um, power aggregation, just pick, pick a selectman's meeting in November and... Um, how about I leave that up to you to schedule that and work it out with the guy? We'll work with we'll just We'll get it on the agenda. Awesome. Just 
just make sure he's back. <laughs> Budget meeting is October 18, 630 at the Freight House. There's no Board of Selectmen meeting next week. Stand by for an agenda for when that meeting will no, occur. That's right, right. So they skip. Mr. Chairman? Yes. You said upstairs that you wanted to bring something up downstairs. Is it related to the police or related to uh, the Y grant or something? No, I think that was... No. Okay, that's fine. No. no maybe that would, that, oh, no, that was the... Um, municipal exemption. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. An office of budget committee. When's the next? The policy. When's the, the next budget. meeting? We don't have it scheduled. Watch for the agenda. Watch for the agenda. Uh, okay. N next week, we, there'll probably be no meeting. Though. There's no meeting next week. Okay. okay. So, so maybe week. a week after? Po yeah, we'll possibly. Maybe. We'll maybe. Yeah. We okay. don't, we're not scheduled to review any budget sheets until November 6th, so we'll have to see if there's stuff in the red folder to meet for. Right. All right. Anything else before I make a motion to adjourn? No? no? Okay, I make a motion to adjourn. Second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 428.